Welcome to the multiple tutorials of Adobe Photoshop. Today we'll discuss how to take a new file, how resolution works, and how pixel works. Let's go to file. So the first I have the document name. We'll leave it as sample new file. So it's up to you whatever you can take. Then we have few presets given by Photoshop. The default Photoshop size 16 by 11 centimeter. That means then you have different kinds of paper, metal, leather, tab white. So you can try all, all those sizes. By default, we should we don't know the exact size of any image. Then we'll take the custom size. For example. We'll take a width of 1 inch and the height of 1 inch. So width is the horizontal width and height is the vertical height of the document which you're going to create. Then we have something called inches. The pixels, inches, centimeter, millimeter, points, spikers, columns. So whatever project you're doing so according to that you can take any square unit, any type of uh, units here, it is totally up to you. I prefer inch because it's uh, easy to calculate and uh, talk to the client. So for this example, we'll take a width of 1 pixel and height of 1 pixel. Then we have something called resolution. So what is resolution? For example, to understand what is resolution, we take a resolution of one pixel per inch. Just click on open. So this is a new document. You can that zoom it in totally, or you can press Control plus on the keyboard. If I take the marquee tool and if I just drag it, we got only one pixel. The whole document is only one pixel. Why? Because what we have mentioned earlier was the width is 1 inch and the height is 1 inch and 1 pixel per inch so we have only 1 pixel for 1 inch that means 1 by 1 is equal to 1 we have only 1 pixel so resolution can be called as the number of pixels per square unit maybe inch, centimeter whatever it is, a millimeter the number of pixel per square unit is called resolution so let's see more in detail we'll take another file and we'll take a resolution of 5 that means the horizontal width is 1 inch and the height is 1 inch and resolution is 5 that means 5 pixels for 1 inch in the width and 5 pixels for 1 inch in the height so we'll see how many pixels we get just click OK on that. I'll just zoom in totally. So we'll take again Murphy tool and you can just calculate. It's 1 pixel, 2 pixel, 3, 4, 5. So it is still 1 by 1 inch 5, but what we got is a 5 pixels per 1 inch. Again, the height 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the total we got. 25 pixels. So height, the resolution is 5 here. So 5 by 5, we got 25 pixels. So what we can say is clearly the number of pixels per square unit is called the resolution. So we'll see one more important thing here. What we'll do is we'll take gradient tool and we'll draw exactly from the top corner to the bottom corner. So now we can clearly see the number of pixels is 5 by 5 and one more interesting thing is we can see only a single color is filled in each pixel. That means a single pixel cannot accommodate two colors. You cannot fill two pixels. So you cannot fill two colors in a single pixel. So it's very clear only one color can be filled in one pixel. 
so the more quality you want the more pixels you need so what we'll do we'll take another file it's save one width inch and one width uh, one inch in height one by one and a resolution of 300 that means what is saying to put a shop is we need a one by one inch document with 300 pixels in it that means 300 pixels in the width 300 pixels height there is a lot of pixels so we'll take the same gradient tool and fill it in the top corner to the bottom corner so the image is more in high quality so the more the number of pixels the more quality we get At the same time the size also increases for example you can see here is 263k you would other document it is just 3 bytes the other one 24 bytes so the number of even the size is the same 1 by 1 inch the number of pixels increases the quality of the file increases same time the size also increases so when you're saying the more pixels and more quality it depends only when you're creating a new document for example you take any image and uh, for example if you take so we'll take some image because so something like this so we'll take this image we have this image so what image image size you can see here so it's a 9 inch 9 by 6 inch document with a resolution of 72 so if increase the resolution here 300 we get a bigger image with bigger size but it does not mean that uh, the quality of the image increases so it applies only for image when we create a new image but not for images already processed totally so be aware of that so we'll be discussing more things in future lessons like discussing the advanced settings, the color profile and pixel aspect ratio in the further lessons. So thanks for watching. If you have any doubt, you can uh, just put it in the comments and I'll reply for that. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.